What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another new live show. I am literally brimming with excitement. I am che cheesing with joy. I am very excited. I'm sure we've all been waiting eagerly and very patiently for the show. October could not have come any sooner. I do want to let you guys know I am kind of gassing myself up. I did get some merch, even though I have not a single clue who this character is. I had to support um, one of my more favorite smaller businesses on Instagram who makes anime merch. So let me know if you guys want to know where I get any of my stuff from. I'll always be happy to tell you. Always plug you guys. But for those of you who are new here or don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. Click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. If you do enjoy that and want to consider keeping it for the rest of Chainsaw Man or the other shows we're doing, like One Piece, Kuroko no Basket, Ass Class, make sure you come check out that Patreon. Everything you need is in the description down below. Other than that, make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. I say we not waste any more time. I am so, so ready for this. I did not watch any of the trailers. I watched the original trailer like honestly like a year and a half ago so i know nothing literally not a thing i just know it's being animated by mappa and i know it has something to do with chainsaws i'm not gonna waste any more time though i'm appreciative of you guys let's hop right on into it all right this is episode one this one is called dog and chainsaw i know we've only had like a few setup shots like look at the scenery look at his apartment but so far animation is looking mighty crisp i'm loving the shading giving me huge jjk vibes shouts out mappa Talk about a side hustle. We sold our kidney in our right eye? So my man needs money like that because we're in debt. 38 million? Pochita? I didn't even... Let's kill this thing? What the hell is this little chainsaw cute ass dog? A dead devil is usually good for about 300,000. <laughs> Okay, we are not hesitating at all to get right into this. I am ready. Looks like a tomato demon. It, it was a tomato devil. I get huge JJK vibes from the design so far. Denji. We're only like seven, eight minutes in this episode. I'm telling you, bro. I can already tell you this animation is going to be absolutely F tier. Flashback at a gravestone. That is so dark and sad. And of course, the the company who just wants their money is, doesn't care. Oh my god! The his dad killed himself before he could even start paying off his debt. So all that debt was inherited by his young ass son. And is this where he first met Pochita? I can't lie, even though he has an active chainsaw pointed at me, he's still cute as fuck. He thinks of his dad. Drinking blood heals a devil, willing to sacrifice some of his own life, his blood, to help this creature. I can see why they would form a bond. And as a kid, already, day one, Mans was using Pochita to kill some kill some devils. <laughs> Talk about ambitions. Oof. Does that sound lovely? You can already tell the show is gonna be I don't want to say more realistic, but definitely darker than your average show. Cause like I would assume in any other shonen that if someone's dad killed himself like this and an organization like somewhat took Denji in, even though he was paying off his debt, they would be nice to him, take him in. One of them would, you know, treat him sort of like a mentor student type relationship, but no. This man is truly on his own. Normally in shots like this when one character is talking and the other character isn't talking at all and it's they're like this is like a setup it seems like. I don't I don't know if I like the vibe that's going on right now. <laughs> I uh, yeah. Oh, through him and Pochita straight through the gut. Why does this dude look like a fucking zombie? Yeah, he's just like, you have no ambition, Denji. 
What? We did like you? What are you talking about? What is this? Stranger Things? The Mind Flayer? So they are zombies. The zombie devil. Tomato devil, zombie devil. Even though I feel I feel so bad for my man. Look at him. He's going through it. This is like literally a nightmare. Being stabbed through your gut. Forced to go against an army of zombies. They are not holding back. Oh! This is so dark. It's not like I want excessive things in life. All I want is a normal life. I don't want to be stabbed by a bunch of fucking demon zombies. They literally killed him and put him in the trash. They were not joking. But his blood is naturally just flowing blood. It's going to go into Pochita's mouth. Oh, God, is that lucky? Wake this, wake this devil dog up. Oh, that's what he meant earlier when he said chopping down trees in general for money, like a side business. Poor she did just a handy chainsaw in general. Not just good for killing devils. He's giving him permission. Is that what the story's gonna be? He takes over his dead body? With the cut back over to the present. He literally, there's like chainsaw wires. I love, I love that look. I love the way they're animating this. Oh my god, he's re his limbs were all cut off. He's re-putting everything back together, re-getting his heart beating. And they're literally fused, bonded. Pochita oh, can talk! Oh my god, he's the cutest fucking thing in the world. I'll give you my heart. I want you to show me your dream. I love, what was that, like a dream scene? Like, they were talking, though. Can Pochita actually talk, or was that, like, a mind thing? Because they were connected physically, you know? And is Pochita's voice actor the same one as Nanachi from Made in Abyss? They sounded so similar. Holy shit, I am geeked right now. And, yeah, this is what happens at the first episode. He rips it. Right? All I want is a goddamn normal life. Flirt with a girl, play some video games. He relates to the enemy's ambition. We all just want better. Yeah. Can't really blame you for just wanting a better life. And I won't, but I am going to kill you. If you get in our way, I don't care about your life. You stop me from getting a better life? Okay. Let dog pile in any show always just ends with him just erupting out. Let me see it. Come on. You can hear it, though. You can hear it. Aww. Look at this fucking dude. It's so dark. The chainsaws like rip his arms in half. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is only episode one, guys. We have 11 more episodes of this, and it's only going to get crazier and crazier. Oh my god, they're not shying away from the gore either. I'm loving it. He's using his intestines to start whipping people. I whip my guts back and forth. Oh, I love how he's throwing them at us. We're just cutting them in half as they're coming towards us. And I love how sloppy he is with his fighting. He's not used to this right now. Like This is his first time transforming. He's just going kind of in. Look at this shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, you know what's crazy? Even though I'm rocking this girl, because I just love the design of this one a little more, I have a Denji shirt as well. I should have rocked a Denji shirt. I'm a fucking idiot next week, guys. I promise. We kill the hive mind. The zombies are still up. Interesting. Yeah, so they transform full. He uses just the transformation kind of access. I was about to say, how much money are we going to get from this kind of from this kind of work, you know, but I forgot all the people who pay us are the fucking people we're killing. That's the fucker right there. Oh 
Oh my god. Now I'm assuming this is where the real devil hunters are going to be, because the guy mentioned the real devil hunters don't uh, sell the corpses to the Yakuza. I'm assuming the real devil hunters are the ones we saw in the opening. Ooh, God. <laughs> All he wants is his, his dream. Hug a woman, flirt with a girl. Ooh, and she did too. The way we transformed back was animated fucking insane too. Okay. Preferably not. Option two doesn't seem as bad. Don't make us seem like we're a pet, though. <laughs> yeah, we've been eating bread. If you make sure we're well fed, we'll actually be living a way better life. Ooh, you say jam, it's a wrap. Yes, ma'am, we're already there. He's like, this girl is heaven. This girl is an angel. I'll do anything she asks. Look at all these dead fucking corpses on the ground. Oh my god. That was the first episode of Chainsaw Man. Well, talk about a first episode. I'm a little upset, even though it was my decision, that I, I, I wore this shirt, which still fits the vibe. I can't wait to meet this character. I know nothing about her. But I do have a Denji shirt ready that I should have rocked. Oh my, like, look at, tell me that wouldn't have fit this theme perfectly right now. Like I sh I'm wearing this next week. Just don't you guys worry. But oh my lord, am I ready for the show? It's damn near everything I wanted and more. Like, the pacing, immaculate. It really is more of a show, not tell. Like, we have a lot of questions that we get, like, sort of side snippets to, but not, like, full. Like, hey, what is our character's story? I grew up on the South, you know, like, it, it's much more of a mystery box, which I'm loving and I'm loving and I'm loving. And, like, I don't even know a lot of the basic context right now. So, from what I do know... Our main character, Denji, his mom died when he was little due to a heart condition that he may have inherited. I know a lot of diseases like that are hereditary and genetic, sadly, but uh, so that's already sad. RIP his mom. His dad, I don't know the circumstances. I'm sure we'll get answers to that later on. Um, who I'm assuming was a devil hunter as well, killed himself, but he owed $38 million to the people who take devil devil corpses and sell them to the yakuza like there's like multiple devil organizations right like there's those guys who we ended up killing at the end who takes the corpses sells them to the yakuza that's purely for profit versus the girl who at the end there she had to definitely she said definitively that she's with the public safety commission where normally those were more like generally for non-profit just for the safety and you know health of, of people and i normally government backed and i i respect that i'm just curious as uh and no spoilers, obviously, because I know this is only going to be 12 episodes. I know the pacing is going to be insane. So I don't expect there to be a lot of fat. Like, there's going to be, like, they're going to be trimming a lot of the fat. Um, so uh, are, are the 38 million we owe to these guys we just killed, is, I'm assuming that's going to be, like, all, oh, like, we just got our new squad. We're forgetting about them. Those are the weak boys, you know, because he was talking about real devil hunters earlier. And that's what I'm assuming this girl is, you know, the rest of them. And the opening, oh, my God, the visuals for that opening looked amazing. The characters looked incredible. I loved how they were doing their day-to-day -day activities, all that jazz. Um, I'm loving Pochita. Absolute cutest, fluffiest little chainsaw boy I've ever, ever seen. Like, I know, like I said, I try to support a lot of the smaller businesses that I follow on Instagram uh, who make a really cool anime merch. And I've seen a couple of them make a Pochita thing. But I had no idea what Pochita was or his name or anything. I didn't know if he was like a bad guy, good guy, part of our main squad, what. Um, so I didn't get anything, but... Now I almost have to. Like, I think it's going to be against the law if I don't get a Pochita something soon because he is the cutest motherfucker in the world. And I love how we had a, a conversation with him at one point. Like, hey, if we're going to be doing this job just in general. Like, there's a chance like, if I'm going to die, it's going to be doing that job. And worst case scenario, I would hate to leave you alone out there in the world. So I uh, take over my body and then get the hell out of there. Do what you can. Live a normal life and die a normal death. And uh, I respect Denji for that. Denji is a man who does not, like, don't get me wrong. I love dreaming to the skies. Let's be the Pirate King. Let's be the Hokage, the highest rank you can be. My man Denji just wants to eat some bread with jam, play video games while flirting and hugging, cuddling with a girl. Can you ask for more than that? Like, my man just wants to live a simple life. I respect it, and I damn well hope he gets it. He deserves it. So, like I said, 
I don't give me any spoilers. So any of the questions I'm asking, don't answer them. I'm just saying this in general. I need to know more about his father. I need to know more about the Yakuza and the devil hunting organizations as a whole. I need to know more about the devils. Do they have an origin? Is it going to be something where we don't really need to know their origin? More like JJK. Um, I need to know, do people have individual devil powers? I know uh, Pochita was able to fuse and combine with Oh, is, is Pochita's voice actor the same voice actor as Nanachi, by the way? Sounded super familiar. I was so hoping Pochita would be like a constant talking fucking buddy with us, but now he's like in us. So that's going to be interesting. Um, Yeah, there's so many questions I have that I need to answer. I don't, like I said, don't answer them. But I am just butthurt that next Tuesday is not right now. Like literally at ones are right now and I'm a little upset. Damn it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.